One of the hardest things for students to do sometimes is simply input the numbers correctly in scientific notation into their calculator. So I thought we would do that together. And so let's do a simple example of one of a thousand, if we we're going to put a thousand in in scientific notation, so that's one times ten to the three. So you type in the number one, you hit this EE -E key, and then you hit in the number three. If you hit the equals key, it'll show you that it's a thousand. Let's do um, a, a negative one, so let's do point zero one, and so one EE -E negative two, and that gives us. 0 0.01. Now let's do the big numbers that chemistry often requires us to do. Well, the, one of the largest numbers that we'll use a lot of is called Avogadro's number, and it's 6.022, and then it's times 10 to the 23rd. We don't use a times, we don't use a 10, we simply use the EE -E key and put in the number 23, and when we hit the equals key it shows us 6.022 to the exponent of the 23. That E stands for times 10 to the then let's do a negative one. So you hit um, the weight of an atom in grams is 1.0, oh, oh, sorry, I'll clear that. It's 1.66 EE negative 24. So it's times 10 to the negative 24. And when I hit the equals key, we've got 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24, or the E stands for the times 10 to the. Hopefully that made sense.